Uh, Kent State 48 and Miami of Ohio 47 in overtime. This was for uh, the MAC uh, division. Burner. It was awesome. It did, was. Did you awesome. believe that we would get a 40 to 40 game in the MAC championship game? I could have seen it, especially with Kent that's State. Not Max, that's, that's not the Max that we're used to, though, right? Uh, no, not not lately, especially not on a Saturday uh, when it's like cold outside and all that. Yeah, this was 642 yards of offense from Kent State, 549 from Miami of Ohio. Which, if you had told me that uh, that the little Gabbert Blaine's little brother would pass 26 out of 51 for 405 yards, four touchdowns, two picks, that that sounds like Dustin Crum numbers. And Dustin Crum was 24 out of 33, 325, two touchdowns, two interceptions. It was. This was fun. It, the post-game win expectancy, by the way, in an overtime game that Kent State won on a two-point conversion was 99% for Kent State. Like, <laughs> the, the, the numbers the numbers mess with you. I don't you. know how that works. It, it Because Kent State ran uh, 303 yards on 51 carries. It wasn't all passing. But it's, it's because 26 out of 51 passing for Miami of Ohio and 25 out of 34, like, Kent State was just the significantly more efficient team. A lot of Miami's plays were uh, explosive plays, right? It, they they okay. weren't able to sustain the drives. I think once, yeah, once you get into overtime, yeah, if it, it, especially once you get into the two point overtime situation, the the team that's averaging four yards a play as opposed to the team that's big play or no play is going to win, right? Yes. Are you just assume they're going to win? One hundred percent. 100%. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.